steps in a CEA and or CBA. The steps in completing CEAs and CBAs are very similar. The first step is to list out your options concerning things like, what's your study perspective gonna be? Is it societal, patient, provider? You have to answer important questions about what costs to use, what assumptions you have, and accurately describe what you wanna look at. Secondly, you need to figure out who your stakeholders are. They could be city folks, county folks, state, regional, or federal folks, or a mixture of these. Thirdly, you have to decide on what variables you will choose to measure. This is perhaps the most controversial step. Fourthly, you need to decide whether you will use real cost, transfer costs, indirect or direct costs, tangible or intangible costs, or what mixture of these. Fifthly, once you've decided these things, you have to say for how long you will look at these. For one year, five years, 50 years, you might ask, what is the useful life of the program? Next, you will need to convert these costs to common currency. You will need to use the same units to determine opportunity costs. After that, you will have to quantify your most important benefit in terms of effectiveness if you're talking about a CEA and choose discounting rates and methods if you're doing a CBA. And remember, willingness to pay matters for societal benefits and CBAs. Finally, you will be able to calculate your cost effectiveness ratio or CE ratio if it's a CEA and get your dollars per outcome unit. Or if it's a CBA, you'll find your net present value of the different programs and the one with the highest positive number is best. If you want to calculate the benefit cost ratio in a CBA, you would divide the net present value of benefits by the net present value of costs. Numbers above one are good. Remember though, programs need to be of similar size. Once you have your numerical outcomes, you'll need to perform a sensitivity analysis to see how different scenarios will change your numbers. And the last step in either a CEA or CBA is to make recommendations. If it's a CEA, you may choose an ACER, Mercer, or ICER, or a combination of these. For both CEA and CBA, you will want to state the limitations and implications of your recommendations. This, in a nutshell, are the steps for CEAs and CBAs.